All right, this video will help you make your first program in Python 2.7. Uh, when you install it, you're going to have an option in your all programs for Python 2.7. We want to click the IDLE, which is the Python GUI, the graphical user interface. If you're faced with the shell, then we want to go into the preferences and change it to open up into the edit window. Once you make that change, close the shell, open up the same thing, the Python IDLE, the GUI, and you should get this other window that says untitled at the top. And that's where we're going to write and save our programs. Uh, the first program we're going to make is a Hello World program, very traditional. And similar to an output symbol in Raptor, we're going to use the keyword print in Python. And whatever we want printed exactly, we're going to put in double quotes. We're going to run the program by going through the Run menu or hitting F5. Uh, but first, it'll ask you to save your program. Type any file name you would like, but make sure to add .py at the end when you type it. It's not enough to choose .py for the Save As type. And then the Python shell shows you your output. So this program ran and it works. Now we want to modify this program so that it doesn't just say hello world. We want to say hello for whatever name person is running the program. So we want to use a variable. Um, you might not be ready for this at this point, but I'll show it to you just so you know when you are ready. Uh, we're going to use an equal sign. An equal sign is not read as equals in computer programming. It's read as is assigned. So we're going to use an, uh, a function called input. I'm going to try it and see if it works. And the little tip comes up showing you that you're supposed to put a prompt in there. I'm going to put the prompt in double quotes and enclose the whole thing in parentheses. But you're going to see that this causes an error. Bob is not defined. All right, so the problem, you know, you might have to search this error, um, but really you just have to read the language companion, read the lab uh, in the course, and you'll see that raw input is what to use when you're expecting text or alphanumeric input, and input is what you use when you're expecting numeric input. Now the program runs just fine. It doesn't give an error, but it's also not saying the name Bob. To do that, we need to output the variable, name. Let's try it with a plus sign. Uh, different programming languages use different characters for, uh, for outputting in this way. Let's try the plus. It's going to ask us to save every time. Notice we could do Control S, and we could do F5 to run. You might do that a lot, getting your fingers in the habit of doing Control S, F5 on a keyboard. And this program runs. Now, you know I want you to add comments to your programs, and you're going to do that with the uh, pound sign, with the shift and three. That is the special character used in Python to denote that um, you're going to type a comment and that whatever you type out there won't actually be processed by the computer. It's going to, the computer is going to ignore that. And I would like for you to put your name, uh, the program, uh, program name and just a little something that might be important or something you might want to remember from this program so it would be a good resource for you to go back to in the future. Um, one important lesson that we learned from this program was to use uh, the keyword input when expecting numeric input and to use raw underscore input when expecting text. In uh, Raptor, you just use the input symbol no matter what. But in Python and some other programming languages, it needs to know the data type that is going to be input by the user. And we'll talk more about data points in the future, but this should get you uh, up and running in Python.